speaking of the Bayou City, we have already seen some of our flooding, and that's where we also find Fox Weather's Robert Ray this afternoon. Robert, bringing you in here into the Bayou City. I, I mean, when it comes to flash flooding, as we know, it is more isolated. It doesn't sometimes encompass a big city like Houston. Nonetheless, we see it, but with the affectionate nickname as Bayou City, those area bayous and rivers, they will respond to this heavy rain, especially when it's days long. Well, exactly, Stephen. And, and if you're a local, uh, as you know, because you, you've lived, uh, I believe you've lived here, it's bio, bio, right? Not bio. I, all these different ways to say it uh, down here. But indeed, yeah, the, the, the water that, that comes down into the Big H, the fourth largest city uh, in America, you know, it's, it's a tough place to control with the flooding. So much concrete in this area, such a large swath of land, uh, you know, sits basically Basically, at sea level, some uh, is below sea level in the areas, and when they get rain, well, guess what? A lot of these areas that used to soak it up, unfortunately, uh, is now piled up with concrete. As you take a look at downtown Houston here, uh, but this morning and uh, we had saw some incredible rainfall. Uh, as you know, if you were out on those interstates, highways, or some of those feeder roads, uh, you could have found yourself in a bad situation. Unfortunately, uh, as many people drove into some of those roads that uh, had flash flooding, and of course, what happens? Well, you get stuck. You just can't do that. Uh, no matter what, if it's even if it's a few inches, it's not worth it. You don't know how deep it's going to get. And we also saw, unfortunately, in the region, a tree come uprooted, fall onto a vehicle, and someone lost their life. That's uh, not good. We don't want to see more of that. I mean, we know. As you stated, you know, this area is used to uh, flooding, used to incredible rainfalls. And uh, that is okay, uh, great, people understand, they know how to maneuver through it, but when you get that much rain falling in such a short period, uh, it really is not safe at all. You know, to the north uh, of Houston, they are in a surplus. To the south of Houston, they're in a deficit. So it just depends on where you're at in the fourth largest city in America. Uh, in the concrete jungle that is. And I'll send uh, the shot right back out here if I can to downtown Houston. And I can't stress enough, you know, people say, well, why does Houston always flood so much? Well, I mean, there's a lot of these swamp areas that used to take in all of that precip. And once it became so urbanized with all the millions of people, you know, all that's gone. And where does the water go? Well, it runs uh, right down these streets, pools, and creates flooding. Obviously, not going to see a Harvey situation like 2017, but every year at this time, we go through this, and it's never a safe thing. Stephen? And what you hate the most, Robert, is, as you had mentioned, one life lost is one life too many with that tree falling on their vehicle and this taking place on Monday. But it's the dangers that we often see, especially when we get such significant rain as we saw. Robert Ray, appreciate you joining me here uh, this afternoon and for the next couple of days in Houston. Bridget, back to you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.